Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Is there any better example of what happens when you let progressive ideology, postmodernism, and far leftism run a country? When you let the feminists and SJWs decide the rules, well, your country will fall apart. Sweden is well known these days for being dangerous. The increasing amount of refugees and Islamic populations have risen, as has crime, assault on women, and segregation. There have been many bombings since this has happened. Sweden, in fact, has an explosion problem and seems to experience some explosion event, well, every week. Here on the RT, you see, Sweden could drop ancient history from school curriculum in favor of gender roles and postmodernism. <sighs> Here's a picture of a, what I presume to be a Viking type boat. Future Swedish children may have no clue what this is. Swedish state schools may drop ancient and medieval history from the curriculum to make room for postmodernism and democratic values. According to a controversial new proposal that has enraged many Swedes, local media reports, the history of ancient civilizations from prehistoric times to around 1700 is absent in a proposed new curriculum for the Swedish state primary schools in favor of focus on modern history and social sciences. You know what that means. More time for women's study. The studies of how we have to make up good things to say about women because they didn't actually accomplish much in history class. Anna Westerholm, the Swedish National Agency for Education's Curriculum Department head, told Vinniska Dagbladet on Thursday, tight class schedules leave no room for it, she said. <laughs> what they really mean to say is they don't have enough room for their brainwashing for their inclusive SJW nonsense. Why don't you take out the pointless social sciences and actually teach these students real history, real science, and most of all, not cultural Marxist garbage. History has already been deprioritized through extensive deletions. According to SVD, informative eras like the Roman Empire and the Viking Age will now be removed altogether in favor of subjects like immigration. <laughs> The environment, climate, norm-challenging critical theory, democratic values, and gender roles. The role of a woman is in the kitchen. Hey, you can't say that. There are children out there. What if they hear your obviously comedic joke and are discouraged from becoming doctors, engineers, and space women? How dare you in 2019 even suggest that a woman can't make sandwiches in space? <laughs> the emphasis will be on a postmodernist view of society rather than the classical philosophical tradition. As Foodie reports, in history classes will focus on Western colonialism, nationalism, and the slave trade. You young people that are out there who are university students, you need to take over the student unions. You need to take them back because they're absolute snake pits and they have been since the 1990s. <laughs> now, with, regards, with regards to the universities, I thought at one point that the best thing to do would be to cut their funding by 25% and let them fight amongst themselves for the remnants because it would force the universities to decide exactly what's important and what isn't. So I would say the humanities and much of the social sciences have, has turned into a postmodern neo-Marxist playground for radicals. The scholarship is terrible. 80% of humanities papers aren't cited once. <laughs> once. And so what that means is that they write papers for each other and they sell them to libraries and that's how the publishers make their money. And no one reads them but the publishers can print them because the libraries have to buy them. And they're buying them with your tax money. And so all of you who are sitting here are funding a, a postmodern radical neo-Marxist agenda that has its roots in the university and your tax money is going towards that. And if you want proof of that, you just go online and look at the websites, especially of, of disciplines like women's studies, which is pathological right to the core. But it's not just women's studies, it's all the ethnic studies groups. It's anthropology, it's sociology, it's social work, and most of all, it's education. Most of us know about George Orwell. And many of you know the following quote. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. Few of you may know the full quote. 
Whoever controls image and information of the past determines what and how future generations will think. Whoever controls the information and images of the present determines how those same people will view the past. He who controls the past commands the future. He who commands the future conquers the past. Orwell understood exactly what would happen if history was rewritten, taken out, and ignored in favor of postmodernism and other garbage. Westerholm reasoned that trying to squeeze too much history into the school year often forces teacher to cut off instruction before they even make it to World War II, meaning they miss out on learning about the post-war period. Additionally, the teachers and students have complained that grading criteria are difficult to interpret and long and complicated. It hurts us too, she sympathized, insisting the agency had done a fairly thorough examination of how content and hours match and found that removing ancient history and medieval history hurts the least. So they've already cut a bunch of history. They're going to cut even more history in favor of more of their garbage. Sweden is a hellhole. It has quickly become one of the few closest examples of utopia to an absolute crap hole. It is garbage. It is dangerous. It is unsafe. There are explosions. There are attacks. Women are being assaulted. It is not a good place anymore. The idea has incised professors and educational professionals. History professor Dick Harrison, speaking to F. Tom Bladet, called the idea bizarre and baffling. While Dagen's Nyahiter, literature critic Maria Schotinius, called it crazy and warned it would deprive students of a connection to their heritage. And that's exactly what they want. They want to erase everyone's connection to their heritage so that they can reprogram them, tweak their little brains into accepting the absolute absurdity of cultural Marxism. If you have no knowledge of the ancient, you can have no respect for the future either. Social science and ancient culture scholar Jenny Wallenstein of the Swedish Institute in Athens told SVD, calling the new proposal absurd. To erase antiquity from history teaching? Unfortunate. Former Minister of Education Jan Jörklund tweeted, The same proposal came when I was minister, but I stopped it. Good man. While students have the option of studying ancient history in high school, those enrolled in vocational programs get very little exposure to it, Westerholm admits. The new curriculum also emphasizes the reading of Norwegian and Danish texts and includes discussion of honor killings in social studies. Vocational education is de-emphasized and students are given fewer electives, according to Swedish outlet Bohuslagen, while more hours are devoted to mathematics and sports. You know, the education system, especially the modern education system, is an absolute joke. No one is learning anything. It's, 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 it's a sham. If it were up to me, I would redesign it from the ground up. Currently, education is focused on rote. What is rote? Well, it's reading stuff and memorizing it. That's not learning. It never has been and it never will be. And it's why, well, the schools are shit. John Smith, 91, says it best. Sweden is the best example of what happens when radical feminists, social justice warriors, political correctness police comes into power. That country's fucked. And I absolutely agree. BLZ Bub 613 says, The word postmodernism is a trope for the distraction of humanity. Google the book Post-Truth from MIT. But you know what, my friends? That's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about Sweden? What do you think about erasing ancient history to make more room for gender studies and learning the history of how to be a functioning NPC? Be sure to let me know. As always, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as $1. Doing so will give you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. It's a great way to help out the channel, as this channel is completely and utterly unmonetized, demonetized, and suppressed. All support is appreciated. All links are in the description. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.